Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can fix the 500 internal server error for WordPress via Hostinger. So let's get right into it. For this tutorial, I will be using the guide on the official Hostinger tutorials site. So just keep that in mind. And if you have any other questions regarding this topic or any other topic, make sure to search here and view this article as well as other articles for help with pretty much any problem you might have. So without further ado, let's get right into the topic at hand. The first potential fix is using the AI troubleshooter, which is a built in functionality uh, on Hostinger for I think all subscriptions, I'm not sure, might be just premium. However, you can research that yourself. But yeah, First, what you need to do is go to the website's H panel and navigate to WordPress and then into the AI troubleshooter, which is in the beta, meaning it is not complete currently. However, it does do a pretty fine job even in this moment. Now, uh, once you are there, just wait until the AI troubleshooting finishes scanning your website. If it detects the error, it will uh, tell you when the issue was detected and continue checking your website's components. And once finished, it'll suggest a fix. You can just click fix my website and let the troubleshooter complete its um, fix. It is pretty similar to the Windows troubleshooter, which you have on Windows 10 plus. So it is very easy to use. Uh, and yeah, if that doesn't work, you can move on forward. It can also be uh, caused by bad plugins. So make sure that all your plugins are up to date and that they work normally. Uh, if not, uh, if it is caused by a plugin, just uninstall it or deactivate it, and everything should be perfectly fine and fixed. Uh, other than that, what you want to do is check if the theme might be uh, offsetting it for some reason. Uh, just switch to a new thing, and if it fixes it, it should be perfectly fine. And that is pretty much it. There are other things such as editing the HD access file, which I would not recommend if you don't know what you're doing. So just check this tutorial out for any more help, and that is pretty much all there is to it. See ya.